Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild, and we are back with another Space Engineers Tips and Tutorials video. Today we're going to be going through a troubleshooting video on how to troubleshoot problems with your conveyor systems because this has been something that someone has asked me about in the comments section and right after I got done telling them I thought, you know, this is a good time to do a video on this because it is one of those things that can be really annoying is when your system goes down, you have something not working and you will go in and screw with it, especially after a wreck, which is what this one viewer uh, told me that was. They, they basically wrecked a vehicle, and when they went back to do the O2 generator, it would not work. So I told them what I thought was the problem, and they haven't gotten back to me yet, so I figured the problem has been solved. But anyway, folks, we are going to get in here today, and we're gonna check this out, number one. And we're gonna go into our little facility here. Now, inside of here, I've got a bunch of pipes and stuff all run through here. You can see different types of pipes. And I'm not telling you which ones do what. We're going to go through some troubleshooting. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. But we've got two cargo containers. And we also have uh, two O2 generators. So we're going to hop in here into our survival kit. Just hop into the inventory area. Because control panel is not going to tell you whether your system is completely hooked up. This just tells you what's in here and what's on. Okay. Uh, you can see here we're hitting all this stuff. It's not telling us which is on and which is off, but we know that we have a cargo container disconnected of the two, and we know we have an O2 generator that's disconnected of the two. So, what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to go back into our inventory here. And the first trick that we do to figure out whether something is connected is select something that goes inside of that container. In this case, it's an oxygen bottle, can go in a cargo container or an H2O2 generator. We're going to press and hold and select it. And then we're going to move over here. Now you'll notice something interesting. Just like with our large reactor, you can't put oxygen bottles in a reactor but you should be able to put them in an O2 H2 generator you notice this one here we cannot do that unlike this one we can drop it inside now why is that it's because when your connector is down you cannot put an item into that particular uh, component on your ship so that particular block or that particular device that will do specific things. It doesn't work because there's no connection or it is completely down. So at this point, you know where the problem is. So we, we have an idea that there's a problem in here with the conveyor. And I know that the system shows in the control panel, H2O2 or O2H2 generator one. We look through here. We're looking, it's on. Max out power output is 500 kilowatts. So we know it's on. We know it's working. It's not showing us anything else that says it's not. Hold on, now let me go back in here a minute. So on the flip side, we also have a small cargo container. Taking the same oxygen bottle, we can come over here and we can see that, you know, small cargo container number one is working, but small cargo container number two will not allow us to put anything in it, which means either it is off or we have a disconnection. We go back to control panel here. Go to number two. It's on and seems to be functional. So doing this, how do, how do we figure out so that we can take our tools and go repair this thing? Well, number one, we know which one is the problem, so we've got to figure out where it is on the piping. Now, here's the thing about piping that a lot of y'all probably didn't know. The pipes tell you what is working and what is not. So, we can come up here to this cargo container, like so. I can go in, I can access it. All right, we can take our oxygen bottle. Our oxygen bottle can go in there. That's correct. And this is how you figure out if it's the piping or not. Go in here, hit that, and both our cargo containers will take an oxygen bottle. So what's the problem here? 
Like I said, the problem is the conveyors. So if we go in here into the conveyors, you will notice something. We have both types of conveyors. We have regular conveyor tubes and we have conveyor pipes. Now, looking at the conveyor pipes compared to the tubes, you'll notice something. And if some of y'all said there's a different colored light on them, you'd be correct. When the tubes are green, that means they have full connection. When they're yellow, that means you have a break somewhere. Go in here. We start looking down through here. Go on our tab. And we see right here, we have a pipe that appears to be off. Now we know this pipe is off because this light right here is not on, unlike the other side. You can see the light here. This one's not functional. So if we repair this real quick, the light now turns green. Now let's head back over to our survival kit. And what you guys will find out here, we'll go back into inventory, go down to our small containers. We can put our hydrogen, our oxygen tank in the small cargo container one. And now we'll go in small cargo container two. So now let's do this again. So you guys can see how we're going through this. We got our H2O2 generator here. One doesn't work. But the other one does. So what are we going to do? We're going to go in here into our O2 H2 generator area. And you'll see almost immediately we have a pipe. Now this time I'm going to turn the tab off so you guys can see what we're doing here. You can see we have our pipe going on here and it's already yellow. So we know this it means that there's a break somewhere. Let's go check and make sure that all our pipe is working. So this one is green. This is the one that we can get into. And we also want to make sure that this is working. There we go. H2O2 generator is working. You can put stuff into it. And this one is too. It'll take stuff in here as well. So we know it is also the disconnection. Well, if we get to looking here, we can see we have a light off on the conveyor tube. And our conveyor to our conveyor pipe is all green. I'll turn around, we'll just fix that up. It turns green. We head back to our conveyor. This is why you need to have your pipes open, folks, because your pipes, like I said, they'll teach you if something is messed up. And we'll go down here to our H2O2 generators. We can throw a oxygen bottle in one and a hydrogen bottle in the other. And as you can see, they now work. I don't have to worry too much about it. But yeah, <laughs> I know it's dark in here. Let me just start moving forward here. Get out. So, yeah, that's how you check your conveyor lines. That's how you find out where your brakes and your conveyors are. This works on all the conveyors, uh, even the new armored conveyors, and even the very tiny, tiny one meter small ship conveyors. Uh, like I said, all you got to do is look for a light. If the light is off, it means that it has no, that means that's the break in the connector and that piece of pipe is non-functioning. If it's yellow, it means you don't have a connection. Now there is also another one where it turns red, but red usually means you have no power to the ship. So if you are having difficulty running something and you notice that your pipes are red, that means your ship has no power. But green means we're all green, we're in the clear. Anyway, folks, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please share to comment, like, subscribe, and share the video if you're new to the channel. Check out the Discord. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. This is Badger Wild, signing out.